Hello and welcome to another tutorial. To begin with, we are going to need an editor to write the code to. And I've chosen to use brackets, but you could use Sublime or um, some other editing software. I'm also going to show you how to download and install XAMPP and make sure that it's working. You will need a database program and PHP programming language. Now don't worry if you don't know any PHP and don't know don't worry if you don't know much about databases. I'm just going to go over the basics. XAMPP will in fact have PHP and a database program in it so you don't have to worry. So here if we have a look at XAMPP you can see that XAMPP actually already has uh, a database and PHP included in it and Apache so you're likely to have Apache installed anyway but it's probably not working. The, um, the actual box that you need to select is the one with the red arrow pointing to it if you have a Mac so just make sure that you get a good up-to-date version. When we get to brackets and you start using brackets this red arrow is pointing to the live the live plugin which means that when you select it it will actually display the code that you've just been typing into your web browser um, and it seems to work very well with Chrome so if you're developing web applications it's a good idea to have a selection of of web browsers such as Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera because they can work in slightly different ways. First we'll quickly download an editor. Now I've chosen brackets but you could quite easily use Text Wrangler or Sublime they would be fine um, but brackets is it's pretty useful it's pretty cool so just type brackets for Mac or if you're using Windows for Windows into your browser and then just go for this top one here. Now all we have to do is um, download this and then save file. once it's downloaded. Now, once you get here, just just drag that into applications. Um, I'm not going to do that because you can see I already have brackets installed. But that's how you do it. And then you would just open up brackets and then once it's opened, it looks, you know, something like this. It has a nice little um, live view so I can select this live view. And now it shows me what is is, is the code in in the browser and what it would look like as a web page. So this code that is here um, is shown in this browser which is here. So that's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Now you have an editor where go back to Firefox and now we're going to look for XAMPP. So just type in XAMPP and do search. Now this one here, XAMPP installers and downloads for Apache and friends. This is the one that you want. So we go to this page. There's a nice little video here which is uh, kind of helpful but a bit, bit out of date. The ones that you want to look at are XAMPP for Windows. So obviously if you have Windows select that one. If you have Linux then you want to select this one in the middle and if you have a Mac then you want to select this one on the end here. I've got a Mac so I'll select this one on the end. And uh, this, this new one is, is very easy to use. It, it's lovely. 
so we go to here, we go to the disk manager, and then we, uh, okay, and it's going to download here, and we're going to progress bar here, it will show us when it's there. Once you've downloaded it, here's Exam, and then we select that. And again, we just drag this across into the Applications folder. So this might be slightly different if you're using um, Windows, but by now you should be pretty okay at installing things. It's straightforward. There isn't much sort of setting up to do. So, um, once it's installed, we need to have a little look at it. And here, you always have a, an icon like this one on the end here, exam. So we start that. Now, you get this box here. You're going to need to start this, but let's just have a look at these services. So these you've got these services in here, and you've got networks as well, and volumes, but I'll, I'll show you what you need to do first. First, start. Now just wait for it to do its thing. Then you get a, a little green light once it's ready. Now we go to services and then just go to start all you can see this down at the bottom you've got three buttons so if we go to start all so mysql is a database apache allows you to use the server <laughs> then we go to network now this is quite important you're going to have to enable this because otherwise um you won't be able to do anything. Now this is slightly different from like other applications because you're going to be using it in your in your browser. So if we go back to here, now on a Mac, if we go to go to application, and it's just gonna change browser. We go here and this is this is the uh, the welcome page. But <laughs> If you go to PHP my admin, you get this. Right? Okay, so don't worry about that if that happens. What you do is type in localhost and then do a colon and then do 80, 80, then hit return. Now, if you go to my PHP, now you're in. Okay, so here is uh, um, my PHP admin, and you'll be able to start making databases. You'll be able to code in PHP using your editor. All right, so you will use your editor. Um, there's a brackets. You will use that, this editor, to create your PHP code. So I, I can I, I can do this in Firefox in Firefox as well. You just do local local host colon and then put the name of the port in, and then you'll be able to see like uh, PHP admin PHP in, information. This this is quite important. So, um, like th this version here, you would really want to keep this version a secret from people if you're um, creating websites. You want to keep them safe because that's the kind of information that would be useful to us, would be accurate. We have frequently asked questions. Um, this is going to be extremely useful if you're a newbie, which if you're watching this video, then you most certainly are. Um, you're going you're going to to need these have just have a little look through them there's not too much to read but they are worth your time okay so now you have installed brackets and you have installed exam 
there is nothing to stop you from starting to write your own code and produce a website which will only be accessible on your device. It's not hosting a website. You would need to purchase some space um, on a website hosting site. Okay, so this is more about you learning how to create a website and how to create one um, as safely as you possibly can. Now, I'm just going to be going over the basics in future videos. You know, you'll get a little icon at the top here. Can you see the little icon right at the top here? I don't know if you can see my cursor, but if I click on it, now you can see it. So it has XAMPP and you can you can stop things from there. You can um, stop or restart services um, from from this handy little little tool on the toolbar. So um, when when you're done, um, you can disable that port, <laughs> um, stop all of the services. stop the service here and then it will ask you to make sure that you want to exit and you can exit so now you know how to install it you'll be able to get on and create some websites with some databases hopefully obviously um, you will need to understand how databases work what kind of languages they're using you will need to understand uh, a fair amount of PHP and how that works and you will need to understand a fair amount of HTML and how that works so because these are for beginners these tutorials are for beginners what I will do is I will go over some HTML first in following videos I really hope you liked my video if you did give it a thumbs up and come and check out my channel